In Activity 1, Doing Work, students begin their investigation of simple machines by studying the relationship between force and work. The students first measure the force required to move an object, the distance the object was moved, and then calculate how much work was done. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 1, Spring Scales, and a Roll of String. You will also need to provide meter sticks, objects to test such as books or shoes, and a pair of scissors. To prepare the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 1 for each student and cut a piece of string two meters long for each team. Then, have each student choose two or more objects to test during this activity, such as a book or a shoe. Each team of four will also need a spring scale, a piece of string, a meter stick, a pair of scissors, and a variety of objects to be tested. To begin the activity, initiate a discussion by asking students, what is force? Explain that force is a push or pull on an object. Have a student volunteer stand facing a wall and tell him or her to push against it. Guide students to understand that the student is exerting a force on the wall. Next, have another student stand behind his or her desk with the chair pulled out. Direct the student to slide the chair under the desk. Help students understand that the force used to move the chair under the desk was a push, and that the force used to pull the chair out again would be a pull. Further explain that force is measured in units called newtons, and that a newton is the international unit of force. Then ask students, what was the difference between pushing against the wall and pushing against the chair? Guide students to understand that the difference is that the wall did not move, whereas the chair did. Point out that work was accomplished when the student pushed the chair because the force that was applied to the chair caused it to move over a distance. Work was not accomplished when the student pushed against the wall because the wall did not move. Work is only accomplished when an object moves as a result of a force acting upon it. If an object does not move, no matter how great the force applied to it, no work is done. Next, explain to students that a joule is the unit of measurement for work. One joule of work equals one newton of force acting to move an object a distance of one meter. Distribute a spring scale, a piece of string, a pair of scissors, and a meter stick to each team of four. Then demonstrate how to use and read the spring scale and how to zero the scale if it fails to point to zero newtons with no load attached. Hold the spring scale vertically by the metallic loop with the hook hanging down. Turn the nut on the spring scale so that the zero of the scale is next to the indicator. Then ask the students to gather together the objects they have chosen to test. These objects should be small and or light enough to attach to the spring scale using the two meter length of string. Tell students to make sure the objects they have selected do not exceed the weight limit of the spring scale. Some ideas include pencils, erasers, a stapler, a roll of tape, and books in a variety of sizes. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 1 to each student. Have each team use a meter stick to measure the distance from the floor to the desktop and have the students record the distance in the table on Activity Sheet 1. Have each team choose an object, tie a piece of string around the object, attach the spring scale to the string, and use the scale to lift the object from the floor to the desktop. Record the spring scale reading from the Newton side of the scale on the Activity Sheet and repeat this procedure with a few other objects. Remind students to raise the object slowly and steadily so that an accurate force measurement can be read from the face of the scale. Write the equation W equals F times D and explain that W stands for work, F for force, and D for distance. Have students calculate the amount of work done for each object by multiplying the force required to lift the object in newtons by the distance the object moved in meters. When the students have finished, tell them to answer questions 1 through 4 on the bottom of their activity sheets. Next, discuss with students which object required the most force to lift and identify which object required the least force to lift. Finally, ask students to define work. Reiterate that work is accomplished when a force that is exerted on an object causes that object to move over a distance. To conclude the activity, return the spring scales and pieces of string to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.